curious, do you think that working with kids actually does make them more effective as, as adults in terms of negotiating conflicts? I do. You do? Yeah. Any studies for that or just your no. anecdotal? There are studies. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Tricia Jones at Temple University, who's the current editor of the Conflict Resolution Quarterly, has worked very hard to gather that research. Mm -hmm. um, and it does work. Now, there are some surprising things that have come out of different studies. Mm -hmm. um, one suggests that a little bit does more harm than good. So if you're going to start to teach um, young, young people conflict resolution skills, don't give them one, two, three, four, five lessons and stop. Otherwise, you might be better off not even giving How them How does anything. it do more harm than good to just give them a little bit and not a lot? The, I have to admit, when I read that study, I thought this can't be right. It makes no sense. Um, and it, the study doesn't indicate why that is. But as I've started to think about it and check with others, the guess is that the beginning of most of the conflict resolution curriculum or even mediation is asking people to engage in conflict. Mm -hmm. So if you're beginning now to say conflict's okay, don't avoid it. Mm -hmm. um, or even if it looks you know, like you're going to fight, um, you know, eventually someone will back down and leave. But mm -hmm. in the early stages, you just kind of say, it's not bad, do it. So I think the thought is, if that's all the farther you get, and now you haven't given them the skills for what to do once they're engaged in it, yes. then you probably make it worse because where people would have avoided it and just gone away, now you've actually got them engaged and probably escalating instead you've of problem solving. opened it up, done, but didn't do anything about it. 